what is up guys it's kenny one life back at it with another video um this video is a little bit different i'm gonna do a little tutorial on how to create a um affiliate marketing uh funnel um for any affiliate marketing product no matter what it is um if you don't know it's the best way to actually sell affiliate marketing products is by having a funnel that you're going to get their email have an opt-in have a thank you page and then take them to the actual um the landing page of your you know whatever product you're trying to promote you never want to send someone straight to the product um even though if they buy uh it is a good thing but because you didn't acquire their email um you can't follow up with them um if they just go directly to the sales page um and leave you just lost the customer and there's no way to retarget them and things like that that's why having a sales funnel is the best way and then you can actually uh, acquire an asset because you can build your list up and in the future you can actually promote more products to them if you really wanted to do that all right so enough talking let's actually go right into the tutorial on how to show you how to find a product and then once you find that product how to find the specific hook that they have for that specific product so you can use that same hook to actually put it in your opt-in page um, because when it comes to building a funnel, you want it to be congruent. You want it to be the same thing as the opt-in page. You don't want it to look different. You don't want it to sound different. You want it to sound exactly the same. Um, so when customers are going through the funnel, it's not different. And if it's different it, and it's not congruent, it's going to feel a little fishy and if it's not going to get you um, enough sales, if you will. So you always want to be congruent and you want to take the hook that they have in the specific sales page and I'm going to show you how to find it. All right, so let's go. So what you're going to do first is you're going to actually go into ClickFunnels. Um, if you don't know what ClickFunnels is, it's a marketplace that has tons and tons of different products um, that you can actually promote and make a commission off of it. If you don't have a ClickFunnels um, account, I recommend signing up. It's absolutely free uh, to sign up for ClickFunnels and you don't really need to pay anything. Uh, the only thing you might have to do is when you sign up, they might have you uh, verify that it is you by sending your ID or your driver's license. But other than that, you can actually promote anything on here. Okay, so when you're on ClickFunnels, what you wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to Marketplace. Now, depending on what specific niche you're in or niche that you're in, because um, what you're going to do is you're going to have to get traffic going to your actual offer or your funnel. And if that's like Facebook ads, Instagram ads, um, let's say Google ads, YouTube ads, or you can go the free route like YouTube, um, creating a blog, doing a Facebook group page and different things like that. Depending on what you're going to do, um, it's going to be in some type of specific niche and you have to pick that niche. So when you have that niche that your your bit your business is about, you want to pick a product that's in that niche, obviously. Um, but I just wanted to point that out there. So you can either go by the categories on the side or you can go to find products. Now there's a advanced search option. Um, if I click on here, it actually goes more into detail. You can put in the keywords, what categories you want um the gravity initial sale average sale and things like that but what i typically like to do here let's uh back out of here if it lets me all right so when you back out of here what i like to do is uh, let me fix this i like to actually click this search icon right here without putting any like keywords or anything so i click this once you click this this is actually going to categorize everything in the marketplace on clickbank typically they categorize everything by popularity so whatever is the most popular thing that's actually selling but what i like to do is go to by gravity um gravity is a lot better uh just because when it comes to specific gravity um, this shows you how much it's selling each um, each month, but it's not like individual products, like how many times selling is how many times one affiliate uh, marketer sold that product. So every affiliate marketer, so there was a, about 428 different affiliate marketers sold this product this month, which shows you that this product is selling and it's really good. The only bad thing about having a high gravity 
is that there's a lot of competition. Um, now, competition is not always bad. It can be a good thing as well. Um, but if it has too much competition, you might not want to get into that because it's going to be harder to get into that. So that's something that you want to look into. Once you find your product or whatever you're searching, you can actually just click promote and promote your product. But let's go to the product that I was searching for. I already did my research and uh, so I won't make this video too long. But what you would do is scroll through here, look at the product, see how much the average sale is, see how much the rebill is, if it does even have a rebill. See like average rebill zero because they don't have a rebill on this. Average percentage of sales, 75%. Um, look at the numbers, see if it's a good product for you. And then what you wanna do is like, for example, this product here, Power Efficiency Guide, is you would actually click on the actual landing page, look at the landing page, see if it's something that you like watch the video click the video and see and find out what their hook is now if you don't want to watch the video you don't have to because there's another way hi my name is to mark edwards actually and today get the presentation this short but, video i'll tell you a life-changing story about how i figured out how to easily generate insane amounts of energy for the past two years i'm talking okay so Typically what you want to do is you can actually watch the video or you can do this. So when I'm about to exit, pop-up will come up and it'll say um, click for text presentation. Or when you click the X, it'll say, are you sure you want to leave? If you say no, stay on the page, it'll actually send you directly to this. Um, and then you'll have the whole presentation here, but in actual text form so you can look through it and find out what the actual hook is. I already know what the hook is here. It's about a power efficiency guide that would change the, um, our whole world forever. And it's this down here. So you're trying to look for a hook that will hook the customer in watching the video. Um, where is it at? Right here. You'll never have to pay such high bills to greedy electric companies again. So this is pretty much the hook. Um, so I have it here in my notes. As you can see, what you're going to do is you're going to put free video reveals power efficiency secret. Instead of guide, I put secret because people love when someone says secret. And if it's a secret, someone wants to know about it um, because it's secret. Now it says that will change our world forever. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think I'm going to keep this in there. I might actually delete this and leave secret and put it in like quotations secret right and then you'll have discover how you will never have to pay such high bills to greedy electric companies again so this is the specific hook now when you're finding your product you're gonna have to go through here and search and find out what's the hook what is the problem that they are solving um, for this specific uh, customer so here they're solving the problem of paying high cable bill uh, not cable bill sorry <laughs> paying high electric bill um, I have a company that we actually do that. But anyways, so uh, what you would do after this, after you find the hook and find the product and know a little bit about your product and make sure that it is a good product for your specific customer, you would go to ClickFunnels. Inside of ClickFunnels, um, you can actually build a funnel, really easy drag and drop and build a funnel in probably like 10 to five minutes, not even that. Now I will have in the link in the description, um, uh, free 14 day free trial for click funnels if you want to use that I do get a commission um, but you do have that option down there and I am going to have a um, this template of my funnel if you want to use that as well and then you can just plug in um, whatever you want whatever your product is into there but just make it look presentable so typically I already have it made here but what you would typically do once you go into click funnels you want to go on the top um, right hand corner you're going to see these tabs and you're going to go to uh, click funnels and then click on funnels once you click on funnels is you're going to see an option of funnels here if you have any now if you don't have any um, obviously you're not going to have any options but if you do get my url for my funnel all you have to do is just take the url and plug it into your browser and it automatically will populate the funnel into your click funnels account um, and then what you'll do is let's say if you didn't have a funnel or you didn't want to use mine You'll go to add new funnel and then there's two there's a cookbook builder process um, Where you can explore different funnels that 
um, people have. And then there's the classic, which me personally, I like the classic. So you'll click create new. And then once you click create new, it's going to ask you, are you trying to collect email, sell your own product or host a webinar? Here, we're actually trying to collect emails. So you click emails and then you'll add the name of the specific funnel. Um, so you'll name it whatever your product is, what I would recommend. So you can actually know that's the funnel for that specific product. Um, and then you'll click build funnel. I'm not going to click build funnel because I already have one created here. But once you click build funnel, it's going to take you to a screen that looks like this right here. It's going to have the opt-in and thank you, but it's not going to have this. So let's see if I click. So if I click create variation here, you're going to actually see all these different templates that you can use um, for click funnels absolutely free. Me personally, I don't like a lot of these templates because they're just a little bit too much for me. I like to have my opt-in page or my landing page, something simple and sweet, talking about the specific product, um, what I can actually give them, which is a free video, um, and then tell them what's in the video. And then if they put their email, they can actually get this video. Like when it comes to like all this craziness, I'm not really all into that, but you can actually um, if you want to, you can split test some of these different options and do it that way. But I'm going to show you this way here. And I'm going to show you how to use the specific ClickFunnels builder here. So as you can see, you have like settings, you have different app integrations that you can integrate. You have like integrations, SEO, SEO, if you click on it, this is like for Google. If you're trying to rank on Google, you can add the title here. Let me move this. And then you're going to have it you see how it populates here and this is how is it exactly it's going to look on Google if you wanted to do that um, and then you have like tracking codes custom CSS this is more for like people that are really advanced into CSS that's when the coding aspect comes into it you can change the color of your background you know typography um, and the general settings so what you typically want to do is as you can see here this is the specific setup so there's like three different tiers um, when it comes to uh, click funnels as you can see these little boxes so this right here i believe is the section you can edit the section and then you have which is the blue one which is i believe the rows or the columns i think it's the columns and then you have the elements um on here so you can actually edit all these different things. So like, for example, let's say the actual section, let's go to the little gear here. Let me show you again. So you have the little gear, you have clone, you have save, and then you have delete. If I click delete, this will literally delete everything. I don't want to do that. But um, so you have an image you can add. You can make it like the, the actual section, how wide you want it. If you want it full page, if you want it you know wide if you want it extra small and you can see how it's changing I just like wide um, you can put uh, you know that it actually sticks onto the top when it scrolls or sticks onto the bottom um, but this doesn't really matter because it's gonna be a landing page you have background color you can actually change the color of the background of that specific um, you know column or section sorry and then you can change the text as well if you wanted to change the text of everything in here. And you have the, so this is the padding. Uh, what the padding is, is how much space it has the bottom in between, or I mean bottom or top or left and right. So it makes it smaller and bigger, uh, depending on how you like it. This is all preference. It There's no like, one way of doing this when it comes to changing all these settings it's whatever looks nice to you and what i would recommend if you want to you can actually click on my um link down below that shows my number one recommendations on how to make money online and you can look at my uh landing page and if you want to you can just do it some way like that if you want to do that um but what i like to do is i like to go to other people that are successful and that are doing the same thing that i want to do and i model them um because obviously they're doing something right and then you also have advanced so you can do corner radiation if you want the corner squared you can do a border so like a top border um, you could do a top and bottom border so as you can see the lines here you can do 
you know, full border and I'll have a square around it. You can also, um, if you have a border, you can make it solid, dotted, or whatever you want to do with it. Uh, let's see what else. You could change the color of the border if you wanted to do that. They also have like shadows that you can add, which is the shadow, which is pretty cool as well. Um, you could do float left, float right, and then you can also do positioning. But this doesn't like none of this stuff really matters. That's just like super expert. You don't have to do all this when it comes to a landing page. But now let's get into this specific landing page instead of going into this. But okay, so let me also show you this. So you have all the different ways you can you can edit. So if you do editing on this part instead of the actual section, I think this is the column. Yeah, so this is column one. So you can actually change the margin margin on the columns change how you want all the fonts to look where you want to map um, you know the spacing how wide how small so all these things can be edited um, all of them are basically the same and you have options for mobile too so remember if you go to mobile you want your all your um, landing page to be mobile optimized because most people are going to be on on mobile anyways and you can change the settings on those as well Alright, so you have section. If you add a section, you can specifically add a section to anywhere you want. So if I add a section here, it's actually going to build it, and this is a section. And then you have rows, and you can manage rows. So if I go to rows, you can actually add... I mean, yeah, if you can add rows here. So like, for example, if I click add rows, you're going to have three rows here. Um, you can have two rows, but when it comes to... Um, this landing page you don't really need rows so that's something that you don't need too much here um, you also have columns these are all the different columns as you can see when i'm scrolling on the columns they actually change and you can see which one i'm on and then you have elements now the elements are like the fonts um, pictures paragraph bullet list um, images videos you can actually add videos audio player um, you have the button so this click to sign up now button you can actually add that to whatever you want so like, let's go back so if I wanted to add that under here I can and then I could just delete it as well um, so there's a lot of you know elements here and so the button will be that one and then you also have the uh, I believe it's is it the input yeah I believe it's input Yeah, so the input would be like the emails. And then you can also change the settings and all these as well. How you want it in there. Uh, let's, let's see what else I can show you. They also have like dividers, pricing tables, progress bars. Um, you have social media shares, privacy notice, and things like that. And you can go through all this. I'm going to actually delete these. Okay, so what you do is once you have your actual template here of, of the actual hook of the specific product that you're selling of the video, um, you literally want to, you know, copy and paste it here. So this all depends on your preference. Now, how I have all these here, you can actually bold it and different things like that. Like, um, so free video reveals power efficiency secret that will change our world forever i don't like that that will change our world forever i'm gonna keep it like this and i want to change this so you can edit this and font size make it a little smaller so it can fit perfectly up there okay so it's free video reveals power efficiency secret discover how you will never have to pay dot 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 such high bills to greedy electric companies again and then once they put their email here let's change this so put get video or what let's go watch watch video now and then once they click there it's going to take them to the thank you page 
Alright, so that's pretty much it with it. It's really simple. All these things are drag and drop. You can actually move around as well. And when it comes to click funnels, it's actually really simple. Now, one thing that you want to know is after you make any changes, you do want to click save. Um, because if you do not save and get out of this, uh, you will not have any changes fixed and you would have to do it all over again. Um, and then you can also cl click preview to see exactly how it looks. Um, when someone's on a website um, or you can actually make this smaller and see how it would look someone on the phone or you can just preview it um, however you want but let me go back here exit so sometimes what you're gonna have to do you can you don't have to get a domain name if you want to what I typically recommend is that you do have a domain name um, when it comes with to a landing page um, so you can have it to go directly to a domain and not to this right here because this is pretty much going to be your landing page name now you can use this if you want to but I believe it's going to convert better if you have an actual domain name and you can go to the top here go to accounts and if you scroll down you can actually go to domains and you can actually get a domain name for free here all right so if you want to do that um, so that's pretty much it there. Now, obviously, once you have them go to the specific opt-in page and they opt-in, it's going to take them to the thank you page. Um, on the thank you page, what you're going to want to do is, here, I'll just, this is a pretty good template here. I'll just use this one. Let's go to edit. Now, you want it to, you're going to want to edit this. You don't want the background to look like this or anything because you want your opt-in and your thank you page to look exactly like the opt-in page you know, let me actually get out of this you want it to look like the 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 sales page of this specific um this specific product here so you want to copy the colors um the fonts the background you want it to be so much alike that it doesn't it looks like it's a specific this company is doing the actual um sales funnel uh, so when you have here you'll so when it comes to the video you actually don't have to say too much uh, it doesn't have to be a full-blown thing leave it really short simple you can talk about your story you can talk about yourself if you want to do that you can talk about how this product has helped you um, but you just want to make it short and sweet saying thank you guys thank you for opting in if you click the link down below um, the yellow link like as you the yellow button that says get instant access today um, It would actually take you right to the video so you can be able to watch the video that you have got absolutely free And then once they click on it, they'll go directly to the landing page. Obviously, you're going to want to change this to get video um, You can change this to get Video or watch video now and have it like that have your video and then you can put up here uh, so you're you're almost there here let's put this there please allow it to 15 minutes for it to arrive you can erase this you're almost there and then once they watch this here, you can take off this nice you're almost there you can even have one of these here let me show you this sorry if this video is a little bit too long I just want to show you guys this little progress bar this on top see so almost completed they'll have like this progress you can actually edit this the way you want almost completed have the progress green I know it's blue but you can have that you're almost there have your video and then tell them to click this link once they click the link they'll actually go to this uh, physical sales page and you want this to look this actual thank you page to look just like your opt-in page which all the colors are the same the same font um, remember it's all about congruency and if you have it congruent you would have better chance of actually converting that specific customer Alrighty, so that's pretty much it with this video. Um, in this video, I wanted to show you guys how to find a product, find out what the specific hook of that product, and use that same hook on your opt-in page 
um, and make sure that your opt-in page is congruent with the actual landing page of the affiliate product um, and I wanted to show you all these things sorry if the video was a little bit long and hopefully you guys can actually use this and again if you want to get the actual funnel down below I will have it down below for you so you can use that as some as a template for yourself there will be a 14 day free trial for click funnels down below as well and in the future I will make videos on how to create autoresponders for um, uh, for email software so you can actually send your customer emails automatically without you having to do it every single time all right guys thank you guys for watching if you guys want to watch another video you can watch another video guys thank you guys for watching subscribe like and see you guys later